Welcome to Fluke Calibration's video demonstration of the 1586 SuperDAC Precision Temperature Scanner. This is the first of five short demo videos on the 1586. In this video, we'll introduce you to the product and demonstrate how to set it up. The 1586 SuperDAC is the most accurate and flexible temperature data acquisition system on the market. It scans and records temperature, DC voltage, DC current, and resistance for up to 40 input channels and scan speeds as fast as 10 channels per second. The SuperDAC can be configured for use as a multi-channel data logger in the factory or as a precision reference thermometer for benchtop sensor calibration in the lab. Let's take a closer look at the 1586 front panel. The front panel has a five-way binding post for reading reference thermometers. The 1586 can also measure DC voltage, DC current, and resistance. There are function keys for soft menu selection and navigation, USB port to copy and move your data and set up files, a color display with channel status indicators, numeric keypad for entry, and a standby button. The main buttons on the 1586 are the six buttons in this group. You'll notice that they are backlit, so you always know where you are and the recording status. Now let's set up the unit. Push the instrument setup button to get started. This allows you to set up your preferences. Menus and displayed text are available in nine languages. You can view firmware level, set date and time, and decimal format. Set display brightness, keypad beeps, and more. Now that we've set up the instrument, Suppose we want to use the 1586 in a lab setting to read a PRT. We would first connect the PRT to the five-way binding post. Next, we'll configure the front input channel to read a PRT. Press Channel Setup. Set Channel 1 to On. Select Edit Channel. Set Function to PRT. We'll choose PRT PT385. Set the resistance value to 100 ohms and choose 4-wire PRT. We can apply a label to this channel which is recorded in the data file. You can enter a label through the navigation keys and the alphanumeric pad. You have the ability to set two alarms on each channel. These alarms indicate when either an upper or lower range has been exceeded. The alarms can output a signal from the rear panel output to an external device. And all channels have the ability to do an MX plus B, which is a gain and offset for scaling of various signals. This concludes the 1586 introduction and setup video. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to configure input channels.